Opulence by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 1, Chapter 7F. No orange became fainter. Accordingly, Professor Clinker Hughes found that two bodies had passed and had inflamed each other, and that the light of their mutual disturbances would soon disappear. Journal of the British Astronomical Association, Volume 2, page 365. No orange became brighter. Accordingly, Dr. Campbell determined that it was approaching this Earth at a rate of 128 miles a second. Journal of the British Astronomical Association, Volume 2, page 504. Then Dr. Espen went into a trance. It was revealed to him that the object was a nebula, English Mechanic, Volume 56, page 61. Communication from Dr. and Mrs. Huggins to the Royal Society, not a nebula, but a star, English Mechanic, Volume 57, page 397, C Nature, Volume 47, pages 350 to 425, that, according to Miss Eugen Gothard, the spectrum of Nova Origin agreed perfectly with the spectrum of a nebula. That, according to Dr. Huggins, no contrast could be more striking than the difference between the spectrum of Novi Orange and the spectrum of a nebula. For an account of the revelations at Stonyhurst Observatory, see Memoirs of the Royal Astronomical Society, volume 51, page 129, that there never had been a composition of bodies moving at the rates that were so definitely announced, because Novi Orange was a single star. Though I have read some of the communications from Rector and Dr. Finuet to Mrs. Piper, I cannot think that they ever mouth sillier babble than was flickered by the star ghosts to the astronomers in the year 1892. We noted Professor Clinker Fuse's finding that two stars had passed each other and that the illumination from their mutual perturbations would soon subside. There was no such disappearance. For observations upon Novi Orange, ten years later, see Monthly Notices, Volume 62, page 65. For Professor Barnard's observations twenty years later, see Scientific American Supplement, Volume 76, page 154.